Hey guys, Carolyn here, and today I'm going to be doing a video that um, if you've been following my channel for a while, for at least I'd say January of this year, you know that I've been trying to do more K-pop store reviews and then I kind of like got off of doing them and now I'm trying to get back on to doing them again. Um, I don't want to do that many more of them. There aren't too many more stores that I'm like trying out and whatever before the year ends, but I do want to talk about um, in-person K-pop stores because I've gone to two K-pop concerts this year and in those two K-pop concerts, I've gone to three in-person K-pop stores and I had this idea the other day that I was like, maybe I should talk about in-person K-pop stores in the US at least compared to other stores. And I've also bought albums at Target this year. So I guess that's like four stores really. So let's talk about that. So I'm gonna throw up some B-roll footage of what the K-pop stores look like as I talk about them. The first one I went to this year was one that I had been to before. I went to uh, K-pop in USA in Atlanta, um, which is about, I don't know, it was like 15, 20 minutes from um, the venues that I was going to in my hotel and stuff. It was in like the Korea town of Atlanta and Atlanta is like three and a half hours, four hours from where I live. So it's not something I can go to on a regular basis, but it is a store that I try to go to at least the past couple of times every time I go to Atlanta um, for a concert. So there will probably be if not this year, a couple of times next year where I'm trying to go to Atlanta for concerts. So I'll definitely go to that store when I go down there. Um, but they do have an eBay store. I've talked about them. I did like a review of them. And I would say that K-pop store in USA is the most organized of the K-pop stores that I have been to. <laughs> I would say the three that I have been to walking into the store, I don't know. There's just like a lot of space and I feel like it's very easy to navigate and find different groups. And the staff were really, really nice when I was there. Um, the second time I went there, they actually knew of my channel, which was super cool. But that's not why I'm saying that about them. I walked in and everything was so organized and so neat. And it wasn't like, actually it was the day of the concert. Um, so I went the day of the concert and it, usually K-pop stores are like packed on days of concerts. I don't really go to K-pop stores when I'm not there for a concert. So it's like weird, but I went, um, and it was nice. People were really nice. I felt like I had plenty of time to look around. I didn't feel like other fans were like trying to rush me along or anything. And um, it wasn't, the store wasn't set up. It kind of was set up in a way that you had to stand in line at the end after going through everything, but not really actually. Um, so you could go through the entire store without feeling like now you're in line and you can't go back and you can't like look back at the albums that were behind you. They had a wide variety of albums. They had a lot of older group albums, a lot of newer group albums. I felt like they got the albums, like newer albums pretty quickly. Like I went to um, AT's and there were a couple albums that I wanted to buy there that were newer albums that had come out earlier in the week and they were there. So that was super nice and super exciting. The prices were expensive, but I didn't feel like it was more expensive than what I would pay myself just buying albums and getting them shipped to me so that much of a difference in cost now i don't like have the receipt in front of me from my last visit and i can't tell you but from what i remember not that bad they also had a lot of merch like they had a billion coffee mugs they had a billion like pillows and posters and pins and light sticks and mini light sticks and um like all sorts of things and they gave you a free poster with every two albums that you bought and you were able to pick them out they had an ipad and you could choose which ones you want so i don't really have posters up right now but eventually i would like to have posters up again um so it was nice and they were good quality posters they were big posters too so yeah and they're very friendly and um they had music videos playing in the background of course the day that i went they played a lot of ats not that there's that much ats you could play but um the other time i went there was for monster x um the second time i saw monster x in concert and that's k-pop store in usa um basically my review of them i like them they're really nice and i think that if you are in the Atlanta area, either for a concert or you live in that area, you live in Georgia or whatever that area um, and you want to them out, um, I would definitely recommend. The other two K-pop stores I went to were when in LA this past July, August, I went to LA for Monstix and I had Ultimate VIP and it was literally the best day of my entire life. Like definitely in the top five, um, might have like topped being born. Just kidding, I'm just being dramatic. But um, I went to two K-pop stores while I was there. The first one I went to was 
Choice Music. I went to them twice actually. So I went to them the day of the concert uh, and then I went back the next day. I went there with Katie um, over at Katie Tiki and crowded. It was in a mall. So you had to, the K-pop store in USA is like in a shopping center, but like it's its own store. You know what I mean? Choice Music is in a mall and it's basically like two sides of it that we had to wait outside of the store in a line for a while it was concert day like it was busy and that was weird because walking into k-pop in usa i'm always like i just like walk in like i don't have to wait outside or anything um but we were like wrapped around the escalator which was kind of weird um and choice music i was a little hesitant on because i have had issues with their like actual website before but um the store was really nice the people were really nice in that store um and but the only issue I really had with that store was it felt really cramped. Like it definitely felt like they needed to be in a bigger location. And it was like one line of people. So you would like start here and then go around one shelf, which had stuff on both sides of it. Um, and then you would be at the checkout counters at the end. So that was kind of like, well, what if I haven't like decided? What if I was just like browsing and then I need to go back and look at other albums and like whatever. It was kind of, it wasn't hard to do that, but it kind of felt like you should do your lap and then be done. Um, <laughs> they also had some things that were behind the counter that you had to like ask for, um, which was weird because one of the things I really wanted from that store was the uh, NCT Neo City Origin um, bus and the World Tour bus, and they did not have it. They had some like in their um, in their like glass front thing but i was not able to buy one of those i didn't feel like they had a ton of older groups or a ton of albums like i said i went on a concert weekend so maybe they usually have more albums in stock um price wise i didn't think that they were that different from k-pop store in usa i thought they were like pretty much the same price um and also um one of the things i wanted was rocket punch's album that had come out earlier that week and they didn't have that yet so they didn't they said they was coming like next the Wednesday after or something, which is a long time in my opinion. Like I get albums faster than that. So I'm not sure, and LA is closer to Korea than where I live on the East Coast. So that was weird. Both stores that we went to in LA said the same thing. So I don't know if K-pop store in USA gets faster shipping because we tend to get albums at about the same time, me and K-pop store in USA. And I don't know, that was interesting though. Cause we were like trying to find new new wish releases that had come out earlier in the week and we couldn't find them but they were super nice there too super friendly their extras were really good i really like the amount of extras that they gave us so like some of these cards because i got like lovely's albums and um like the these are super high quality like nice freebie cards and i don't know i really liked that about them that store would i go back to them again yes because i didn't have to wait outside the second day we went because it was not the concert day so it was less busy most people had gone the day before but we went back to look at see if rocket punch's album was there again the other store we went to was music plaza um which the only thing i bought there was the neo city bus but i still have the mag for it so yeah, um, my thoughts on Music Plaza, it was also in a mall, it was in a different mall. So we parked in one mall, ate at the food court in that mall, and then we walked to another mall. And yeah, it was interesting. LA is an interesting place, I don't know. The only thing I bought there was the Neo City bus, but we did walk around and look at things. And I just, if you cut K-pop store in USA in half, <laughs> that was like what the vibe I got from it. It was very, very small as well. The first day we went, we parked in that mall's parking garage and then walked to the Choice Music Mall and we looked at Music Plaza and it was just like, literally looked like there was no room in there. It was so tiny. And um, it was also kind of dark in there. I don't know, but I didn't feel like they had as much stuff as Choice Music. I didn't feel like the selection was quite as large. And again, they didn't have like newer albums that we were looking for that had been released earlier in the um, year, but or earlier in the week. So that was interesting. Um, I don't, maybe that was just like both of them thing. Um, the people were nice. I didn't really talk to too many store employees there. Um, I feel like at other stores I've talked to more, but like I said, I only bought one thing and we looked at it and then I went to Choice Music to get it. They didn't have it. And then I just like went back and bought it real quick. So I didn't spend a lot of time in that store. So they were okay, but I definitely think that if I was in LA again, I would go to Choice Music 
over a music plaza. But yeah, price wise, I feel like they probably were a little more expensive. I also like have not heard like fantastic rumors about them. I'm not gonna say I'm here cause I just don't wanna like put that out there. But I mean, they were nice enough and they were friendly and I think their merch selection was larger than Choice Music. So if you're looking for more like maybe not official merch, um, that would be like the mugs and stuff and whatever, you can go to that store, that's probably better. And the food court in that mall is really good. We ate at that food court, the Korean food court. It was very good, would recommend. So uh, Target is I think more expensive than both of all of these stores. Um, buying the BTS album I think was more expensive. But it is nice to have a store like Target where you can walk in and buy an album and walk out. And literally, I live three, four hours from K-pop store in USA. I live four hours from another K-pop store that I have not been to, but will someday adventure up there. And um, Target is like 15 minutes from my house. And LA is like a six hour flight. So if you think about it, it is nice to have that convenience of Target. And I do hope that like more groups expand to Target. I would love if Monster Dex get nothing else out of being like in the US all the time, if they can just release their albums in Target, like that would be nice. <laughs> can I get my Monster Dex albums in Target, please? But yeah, so it's, Target is definitely more expensive. I think if you were to, if you live near a Target and also a K-pop store, I would try the K-pop store first. But I know that those albums would come from Korea and there's always like different weird perks for um, US version versus Korean version. But um, yeah, that is my little thoughts on all the stores that I've gone to so far this year. If you've ever been to a K-pop store somewhere else in the United States or one of the ones that I mentioned, let me know what you thought about them in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.